Hi, and welcome back to the morning, noon, and night show. Now, until Friday, I always considered my eyebrows really something of an afterthought, and that was before I walked into Eliza's eyes in Southampton, and Eliza Petrescu, who I'm joined with now, explained to me what trouble I was in. Good morning, Eliza. Good morning. Good so morning. tell me, Thank what you was for having me? Of course, you. Well, you saved my eyebrows, and well, I didn't even know it. Tell me, what was wrong with them before? We have some pictures. It wasn't really wrong. It just they need a little help from me okay. so I would say one was a little uh, skinnier than the other and a little lower so the balance is the word when it comes to eyebrow so if your eyebrow are done properly your whole face it's it looks different you can look peaceful you can look angry you can look uh, sexy uh, but the most important is look you look yeah. groomed it's the same when it comes to men uh, it's those days when uh, just cutting your hair and shaving your beard are gone metrosexuals days are in where you can you have to groom your eyebrow you have to trim them we have to get rid of this uh, unibrow so your eyebrow aren't really bad they just need that polished groom look mm -hmm. which I just help very little because you're very pretty from nature so I only <laughs> help God a little bit but uh, a lot of people uh, misunderstand the importance of eyebrow. If eyebrow is done correctly, you, you need less makeup, especially on yeah. summer. Uh, you just put a little pencil and a little gel, uh, some lip gloss. You don't need any other makeup because less is more when yeah. it comes to that. So and it's you, very important. I've seen all the before and afters. you able to do extraordinary things with so little. How are you able to change it's it called, so much? Well, it's called uh, seven minutes eye lift without surgery. Yes. What it is, it's definitely an art, so I do have an eye for it. Nobody teach me. Uh, God gave me this talent, so uh, I'm very fortunate. But the moment I look at the face, I, it's like a puzzle, you know, so three dimension, and I can see that, okay, I said, the distance is too far apart, so you always have to take in consideration the, 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 all the features of the face, how far or how low the forehead is, how big your nose is, right. uh, uh, how uh, uh, distinct your cheekbones are. So what I really do with everyone, that's why I always said eyebrows are not one size fits all. I do not believe in trends. I do not believe in uh, shaping. Uh, of course, right. you, you'll bring me this magazine and you say, I would like to have uh, Katrina Jones' uh, eyebrow. But, but if your uh, face is round and your forehead is very low or so, you are the picture in front of me. I don't need any picture. Yeah. I, I do all kind of celebrities. I I create whatever I think it's right for your face. And I always believe like when you go to the doctor, you just tell him that your stomach hurts. You didn't tell him what kind of medicine to give you. Yeah. So I, I earn this reputation and everybody comes to me. I supposed to be the best in the world, which yes. I don't like to say that about me, but I did put eyebrow on the map. And eyebrow make make a big, big difference. And that's why I cannot stretch enough, especially when it comes to your children, take them to a professional. When they Take can, your children to a professional? To a professional first. You know, they usually start to twist their eyebrow when they are 13. Okay. So when bar, bar mitzvah comes or uh, uh, great uh, birthday, you know, take them so they will know what shape is proper for their mm -hmm. face. Because that's what, it's not just pulling hair randomly from your face. You have to determine what's right. As I said, they could be shorter, they could be longer, the high arch mm -hmm. should be where it should supposed to be or lower arch. So it's not about just pulling hair it's about creating a yeah. look so and that's why I, I had the reputation diagnosing that shape yes and so what about color you were telling me yesterday color it's also very important especially for the summer uh, the hair fades from the Sun you know you have to go and especially if you color your eyebrow and you color your eyelashes a little should bit. Should you, you color your eyebrows? Should they match your hair? What well, do you want to do? No, they shouldn't match your hair. Definitely not. They, they should always be as natural as possible with your skin tone. So let's say if your hair is jet blue if you <laughs> and if you have a blonde eyebrow, it will okay. be horrible. Yes. So they have to be as close <laughs> as possible with your hair color. But if you are blonde, blonde, very light blonde, your eyebrow should be one shade or two shades darker. So will bring 
out your eye and your eyebrow because again I'm repeating if eyes are the windows to the soul then the eyebrows are the frame so when you look at someone's face you just see those eyes and if the eyebrow are shape you look at someone and say oh my god look at her eyes <laughs> and it's the eyebrow who really makes the eye look yeah. that way or the opposite if you see someone they have a beautiful beautiful eyes and the eyebrow are wild and crazy and and believe it or not the way your eye it shows your personality mm -hmm. it's all